Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to work on OpenVPN. Yes, that's right. Uh, I've had a few requests about OpenVPN or VPN connecting to different areas. So what we're going to do today is take and uh, make a uh, virtual server up there in the cloud. And we're going to put it in the UK and we're going to install OpenVPN server on there and then connect our client to it so we can pretend like we are in the UK. Let's get started. I'm Kevin Stevenson with Phase Logics. We're a managed IT services provider. If you'd like to hire us for projects, go ahead and check us out at GetMeTheGeek.com. If you find my videos valuable, go ahead and subscribe and like. If you'd like to support me directly, go ahead and buy me a coffee. All right, here we go. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and make a new machine so we're going to go and make the latest and greatest ubuntu lts 20 and uh, we're going to go down here and see click the five dollar one uh, as you can tell right there that there's a 1000 gigabits transfer so if you're going to use this for um you know say streaming television from, an, from another country that you may want to choose a larger package because you know you only get a thousand before they start charging you extra so but for this purposes we're gonna do this uh, we're gonna go here and we're gonna pick the UK London and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna put our own password and and then I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go you to Give it a name, a droplet, and then we're going to go ahead and create it. Droplet created. Okay, so now we have an IP address. We're going to copy that. And here we are connected. And so the first thing we are going to do is go ahead and make this a little bit um, more visually friendly. And so I'm going to increase that font. Yep. All right. That should let us see what we're doing here a little bit easier. Clear. The first thing we want to do with any new machine is go ahead and do some very very basics for uh, making sure that it's up to date and secure so first thing I know I'm gonna need curl for this so I'm gonna go ahead and install that and since it's already installed that's great we're gonna do an update real quick and we're doing this real time so it's you know still pretty quick all right here we go and she's all up to date as soon as that gets done and then that also we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of you know minimal things here we're going to do the unintended upgrades install that way this server will do some of the basics to keep yourself up to date and you don't have to worry as much about it being, um, you know, vulnerable and checking on it and doing the update maintenance. So we're going to do the unintended installs that will help you keep it up to date and secure. Um, also, I'm not going to bother with the firewall stuff on here, but if you're going to do this server and keep it up for very long, you want to make sure that you do lock down the firewall and a few other things like that. Um, but that's a different video and we've covered that firewall stuff in a few of my videos um, we can go over more of that at some other video maybe we'll go more in depth if necessary so if you feel like you need that go ahead and drop some comments and I can make a video on firewall stuff specifically but here we go it's still doing the update so I might have to fast forward a little bit so okay now Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. It's already installed. That's great. So let's go ahead and talk about OpenVPN. So what we have here is another tab. So we're just going to open this up here. Here is a great script for setting up OpenVPN. Now, I'll warn you, you should check this stuff out. Maybe take a look at it, but I've used this this uh, script before and um, everything this this person does and their their stuff seems legit um, so but obviously you should check on your own but uh, and we're gonna go ahead and do this and this is a pretty straightforward install it's a basically open VPN install it's just basically almost a single click install for a, to set up a server so you copy this guy right here put it in your putty and you hit boom so all I did was install that uh, OpenVPN script, or download it. And now we're going to do this chmod, which basically makes this script executable. And now, so you'll see that it is green. And run it. Now this will work behind a NAT and everything. So if you are behind a NAT, it will ask you for the public IP address and um, you can go from there. But in this particular case, we're doing this on DigitalOcean and um, you do, you, it'll have a public IP address. By the way, if you check out my YouTube description, there's a DigitalOcean link there that will uh, get me a little bit of paid if you use that link for making your uh, VM, so I would appreciate that. Let's move forward, and we're going to go no on the IPv6. I'm going to go ahead and use one, which is the default 1194 port, and then one for UDP. And then you can choose what DNS resolve you want. I'm going to choose uh, three, oops, three, which is Cloudflare, which is my favorite right now. Uh, compression. Uh, there's a little bit of talk about this Oracle attack. Um, so by default, they have it set to no. We're going to keep that up here. Uh, a lot of things on the internet, it's, it's compressed anyway. So if you're just surfing the web, a lot of times it's gzipped. Or if you're streaming videos or something, this uh, that compression is not really going to do much for you anyway. So here we go. We're going to click no on that because that's not a problem. Um, do you, now... One more click, it's gonna take it and install it, and then we'll be able to create a user. Client name, we're gonna say, get me the geek, and we going to, we're going to add a password. Okay, so here we are. Now the server's up and running. And if we type lssla, you know, you're gonna see a OVPN client file that needs to be taken down to the user, taken, taken down to your PC. So the next step is to install, I'm gonna assume you're on Windows, I'm on Windows here, so we're gonna go get the OpenVPN client installed on your Windows box. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. And looky there, Windows 7, 8, server, Windows 10. So we really want this guy right here. And we're going to fill in folder. We're gonna go ahead and run that as an admin.
There we go. Next, agree. All that's good. Now, while that is doing its thing, we're going to go ahead and open up WinSCP. And, oh, look, it's already next. No, I didn't need to show me. Boom. Okay. So, first off, WinSCP. We're going to go back here to our IP address. And we're going to paste that in. And we're going to put the password in. And log in. Boom. So I need this file right here. So we're going to just go ahead and get that. All right. So next up. We need to open up File Explorer. And uh, let's go to my documents. So here we go. Oop, get this in the right page over here. So here it is. So we're going to take this, we're going to copy it, go in the C drive, and you're going to find OpenVPN. And then you're going to go to the config, and you're going to paste that guy in there. It's going to be have, have to have elevated privileges, so you're going to go ahead and do that, and boom. So now we're going to go and find look OpenVPN. And so if you can't see it in my tray icons here because it's on the wrong screen. <laughs> No, easy way for me to fix that. I can't really show you. I can flip-flop my main screens. Let's see. Make main screen. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So now if you see down here, you see OpenVPN. Click on that guy and click connect. It's going to ask for that password we had. And let's keep going and eventually it turns green see it's connected and if we look right down here you'll see green icon down here so now heading back over here we're going to do an IP chicken because I like IP chicken because it's fun to type in you're going to see this 167 IP address which is the same IP address as that so now let's go to Google real quick and uh, let's just get this later thing see how that says UK um, let's just say for chicken near me well, let's look at that. Let's see. Okay, chicken near me, and where does it think I'm at? London. Haha. <laughs> How much fun is that? So, I'm going to do something over here. I'm going to pop it over and Anyway, uh, so yeah, there you have it. A VPN client that puts you in whatever country you'd like to be in. And that took, what, five, five minutes, 10 minutes tops? That includes from taking it from zero machine to connected. So. Uh, OpenVPN is a pretty awesome client. Uh, I use OpenVPN for my customers in PFSense, which is a product I use for the firewalls. And, and so I've had really great success for it. It's very stable. It's quick. It's great. Um, 
I recommend it for everyone. And if you're looking for a VPN to get yourself in different countries, um, all you really need to do is make a VPS, virtual private server, in whatever location you'd like to be in, and bang, your IP is there. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kevin Stevenson. GiveMeTheGeek.com.